Hi, so this is the first video for the second lesson of the, I keep forgetting the name of this pack, the further trigger modeling. Now it's looking at these, what look like quite complex formulas um, where you've got mixtures of signs and cos. So it's, it's important to know where they come from. So, you know, it's only been recently that we've used graphical calculators with the new specs. You're talking four or five years ago, max. Before that, not many people used graphical calculators when they were doing maths. And if you think most of the maths we do in school and college, even university, is quite old, at some point there wasn't even graphical calculators. So they needed ways of, of managing certain types of question. So if you look at example one, it says 4 cos 3 plus C 3 sine theta. So you've got a cos graph, which is stretched, and a sine graph, which is stretched, and the y values are added together. Now, you're, from looking at that equation, you don't stand the chance of knowing what that graph is going to look like. And that was very much like the old days. So people would literally fill in a table of values and work it out. So work out what sine cos theta was, sine theta was, scale them and add them together. So, I mean... In certain respects, this is quite redundant because we've got the graphical calculators. I'm just going to pause for a second because I realise I've not got a board marker. Hang on. I'm back. Just into the office to get my, uh, my pen. Yeah, so this, you didn't know what 4 cos theta plus 3 sine theta looked like. So you had to try to combine them. And if you combine them, all I end up with is a stretch... and a translation. Because I know what the cos graph looks like, and I know what happens if I stretch it in the y direction, and I know what happens if I translate it. So that's kind of like the reason for us doing it. But we've got graphical calculators now, so it's a lot easier. Now what I will say, if you use the completed pack, the completed pack does this in full. So for years, I used to teach it in full. Uh, but I went to a training course probably about 10 years ago now. And the principal examiner, the person who was like running AQA for maths, for that specific module, said, well, why are you doing it in full? You're just wasting time. So he said, you've got to do it this way. So first of all, check what the first one is and double check it matches. So the causes both match. Now, from the, the compound angle formulas, the sine A plus or minus B and the cos A plus or minus B, the cos has a different sign. And we actually talk about this later. So it's got a different sign there. Now, this is what the guy said to me. He said, no matter what, to find R, just do Pythagoras of the numbers. So all I need to do is just do pi fag of the numbers. So r is the square root of 4 squared plus 3 squared. So you're happy where those numbers have come from here. So I'll use these to find r. So that's just a 3, 4, 5 triangle. So r is 5. To find alpha, now there's been a few different ways of doing this, and the previous packs found, used it finding cos because the specimen paper did it that way, and the mark scheme only had it in for cos. But since then, with the proper exam papers, they used tan. Now there's a really easy way to, to find tan. And all I do is just do the second number divided by the first number. So it's important to make sure that if cos is first, cos is there. But all I'm going to do is tan alpha is my second number divided by my first number. Now it is quite important that I just ignore a minus sign there. So I just make sure that make sure it's positive. If I put a minus in, I'll probably be uh, 90 degrees out, something like that. Or the opposite angle to it. I can't read that, can you? No, that's not helpful. Hang on. 
there. That's it, isn't it? So make sure positive. Now this stuff comes off the old core 4 module, which is like the proper A-level maths. So you might think it's a little bit tough at the start, but by doing this way, so move that down again. By um, doing it this way, so the second number is a 3, and the first number is a 4, you can't go wrong there. So what are we doing? Are we in degrees? We're in degrees, aren't we? So I'm going to do the inverse tan of 3 quarters. So let me press escape, I'll get the calculator up. So we're in degrees. Uh, that's degrees. Shift, tan of three quarters. There, 36.9 degrees. So alpha is 36.9 degrees. Now there is a lot of maths behind that shortcut because you're comparing the big um, equation from the compound angle formula. And you're saying this bit is the same as this one. And you find out what sine alpha is. And you find, sorry, theta. You find out what cos theta is. And then you kind of just divide them to give you uh, what tan theta is. So there's a lot of maths behind it. But this, this is a brilliant shortcut. And it works every time. You just got to make sure that if cos is there, cos is there. If not, you just switch the order of them. So my 4 cos theta plus 3 sine theta is actually 5 lots of, because that's r, cos theta plus, is it 36.9 degrees? So that, oops, can't see my 36.9 there. So all it is, it's a cos graph with a stretch scale factor 5 in the y direction and a translation of minus 36.9 degrees in the x direction. And like I said, it's quite tough. This is like the proper A level. So, you know, you're not expecting it to be easy. But actually, this shortcut makes it ridiculously easy. And other classes won't use this shortcut, but it is dead simple and it always works. So I'll do it with this one. Let's have a look. Uh, so you can have a go at it, but hopefully. Sine comes first, so sine goes there. With the compound angle formulas, it's the same. So I've got a plus with a plus, so I know I'm choosing the right one. Um, so all right, so for R, so to find R, it's just Pythagoras, so 12 squared and 5 squared, so that's a 5, 12, 13 triangle, isn't it? So Pythagorean triple with a 13. Uh, to find alpha, so always the second number, so tan alpha is 5 over the first number, over 12. So alpha is the inverse tan of 5 over 12, which matches the, the pack. So that gives me alpha of 22.6 degrees, if the pack's right. So I'm saying that 12 sine theta that I didn't know how to draw, plus 5 cos theta, so that I have no idea what that looks like, is actually just a sine graph with a stretch scale factor 13 in the y direction, and a translation. Was that a plus or a minus up there? That's a minus, isn't it? So that should be a plus there. That there is a minus. So I, I've written all over it there before. Uh, yeah, plus 22.6 degrees there. There we go. There's like a, uh, there's an application of it coming next, but I'm just going to stop there. Um, and we'll do this next part together. Okay, okay.